2013. Before I start, although Justine mentioned Zach Sobiak, I also wanted to recognize him as I personally spent most of my years from kindergarten through high school with him. And I am extremely grateful to have known him. Zach said he wanted to be known as a kid who went down fighting and didn't really lose. Not only did he not lose, but all of us won by knowing him. And this is his night also. So here we are. Our time here as a group has come to an end. We have come to this last hurdle. Graduation night. Including kindergarten, 13 years of schooling, growing, and developing into the people who are here today. Years filled with cartoon watching and playing in the yard gave way to attempts to view sporting events, check Twitter, and play video games, all at the same time. <laughs> Whether your system of choice be Xbox or PlayStation, I don't judge. <laughs> Through hallway discussions and the above mentioned social networking, I hear a lot of people talking about going back to their childhoods, the simple time that comes with youth. I know I personally would love a few more days watching Scooby-Doo in my Batman pajamas. <laughs> but I think this desire to go back is for two reasons. The first being the nostalgia of childhood and the great memories associated with it. The second, I believe, is the uncertainty of the future and the great continued challenges that life brings as we get older. Personally, I look at this as a great thing. For one, I think it shows that we enjoyed it and that though the future is scary, we understand and respect the future challenges and struggles of adulthood. Though this time in our lives comes with a major learning curve, when speaking with many adults, a great number of them will tell you their college years of their late teens and early 20s were some of the best in their lives. In fact, they speak with the same sense of nostalgia and fondness. And it is not only because they had more and bigger hair. <laughs> It's a time to learn about the world and how you as a person will fit into it. Whether it be attending college, traveling, pursuing a sports dream, or working. It's a time to start making our own decisions and learning invaluable lessons along the way. On a day like today, many of us will have mixed emotions. On one hand, there's the sadness of our time here ending. But on the other, there's the excitement of the future and all the possibilities it has to offer us. As a football player, when I think about the emotions of today, I liken it to the end of a football season. Though in that case, the sadness outweighs the joy of the time, there are great similarities between the two circumstances. Coach Elmer, Mr. Elmer to most of you, through my time on the football field and in his class has become one of the teachers here who I have come to build a friendship with. Would always make a point to say, if you haven't been there, the varsity locker room is an eerie place after the last game of the season, whenever it may come. Because most of you were not there, I can tell you that he was dead on in his statement. It was because we, as a team, had worked, played, laughed, and cried together. In short, we had grown as a group and as individuals, and knowing that the time we had to do that together was over was a hard thing to accept. I think this same eerie feeling can be applied to the end of our school years. Though we are bursting from our seams with excitement, our time of growing together has come to an end. Just like the reality that came upon us in that locker room, that all our practices and games had ended. So too now today, we realize that there is no more days of school. 
tests or quizzes, projects or homework. We have finished those experiences. There is no more tomorrow for us as a group. So whether it be strapping on the football pads on a Friday night before walking out to a crowded and enthusiastic Pony Stadium, or the morning razzing with your friends before you start your school day with a warm morning honeys for Miss Drummerhausen, better known as Miss D. There is the sadness that it is over. However, all of us have those experiences, memories, and knowledge to carry with us wherever we may go. Our time here has run its course with our friends, classmates, teammates, and teachers. We have completed the challenges with which we have been presented. As we receive our diplomas today, we shift gears from current students and future alumni to former students and current alumni. We are now able to join a large community of Stillwater graduates that clearly, by just walking through the halls of the school, have done and accomplished great things. Whether it be professional athletics, military service, medical training, or any other number of things, today we get to join the ranks of many proud SAHS graduates. So I want to wish all of you the best of luck in your future, whatever you decide to do, with the hope we can help in making the hallowed halls of Stillwater maybe just a little more so. Before that happens, we, all together, didn't get much of a chance to participate in our 1-3 chant too often. So I was hoping you would all humor me, and as a senior class, you'll join me on the count of three in letting everyone know from here to Stillwater and beyond who is coming into the world. One, two, three. One, three, one, two, three. 